Our dependence on fossil fuels has led us into an energy crisis that's feeding both global warming and global insecurity. The Center for American Progress has developed a plan to transform the American economy, spurring a revolution of green opportunity as it puts the country in place to ride the next great wave of innovation. The plan lays out a detailed path to a low-carbon economy, including the means to fund it. The core of our strategy is a series of policies that reduce emissions, spur technological innovation, and provide green jobs and pathways out of poverty for millions of Americans. To avoid the worst of global warming, we're going to have to cut emissions dramatically. The world is going to have to cut emissions in half by 2050. And high polluting countries like the United States are going to have to cut our emissions by 80%. There are enormous political and economic consequences as well. The money that people pay for fossil fuel goes to countries with which we have political problems and in some cases goes on to our actual enemies. In addition to that, climate change will cause political and economic dislocations. Some people say we can't afford to make the transformation to a low carbon economy. The truth is, we can't afford not to. The core of this transformation is a cap and trade system. Such a system caps the amount of greenhouse gases that can be emitted by the U.S. Cap and trade is not only a key mechanism for controlling and reducing emissions, but it also provides critical funding to help American families pay for energy costs and to pay for clean energy policies. With this commitment to capping emissions and implementing a suite of complementary policies, we can change the way that we produce and consume energy. We're still building our communities for dollar a gallon gasoline. And as a result, we're really locking ourselves in to a much higher level of energy consumption. We need to revolutionize our transportation system, start producing vastly more fuel-efficient vehicles that can run on cleaner fuels, be smarter about designing greener cities, and invest in more mass transit options. In the U.S., we have abundant renewable resources. We could use those to make electricity. We can do that with a renewable electricity standard. That will create a market, create jobs, and cut global warming pollution. The way we produce electricity right now is inefficient and dirty. We can vastly improve the efficiency of the way we create electricity, transmit it through the grid, and use it in our homes and businesses. Coal is a dirty source of energy, but it currently provides about 50% of our nation's electricity. We need to set in place strict emission performance standards for coal facilities and develop new technologies that prevent these emissions from reaching the atmosphere. A transformative energy policy will not only require the engagement of the federal, state, and local governments, the executive, the legislative branch, it will also be an opportunity to partner with America's business, to capture the innovation and ingenuity that they can bring to solving the problems and creating a new low-carbon economy. We don't have any throwaway resources, we don't have any throwaway species, we don't have any throwaway neighborhoods or children either. It's all precious and we have to refashion our economy so that it reflects that basic truth. If I were to tell you the vision of the South Bronx after we were developing the future that we wanted, it would be one in which no one could believe that the polluted and toxic experience that many of us had even existed because suddenly we were the clean, green, healthy community that we always wanted to be. People say, well, if you clean up the environment, you're going to hurt job creation here. Well, our notion is that we want to create green jobs that are environmentally friendly and that will be technology based. The green economy will look different in every city. There'll be a different mix of solar, wind, weatherization, new buildings. And we have to respect that and give local people the tools, the technology, the training and the dollars to get the job done. What we need now is American ingenuity, technological leadership, investment in green job growth, the pursuit of international solutions to global warming, and a firm commitment from the next administration that the low carbon economy will be its highest pursuit. It's critical for the planet and for the future of the United States. To read the Center for American Progress's complete plan for transforming the American economy and moving us toward a low carbon future, please visit AmericanProgress.org.